I'm Marika Lorraine along with photojournalist Bill Mills. Welcome to EEDE News. One of the cool things about being on board is the technology on this ship. And I'm not just talking about the Remus side scan sonar we're using for the search. The radio guys have rigged up some pretty impressive antennas that allow us to provide STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. That means kids can ride along remotely on our expedition. Uh, what we have here is an amateur radio station and we have uh, three of us are amateur radio operators and what we're going to do today is uh, we'll be transmitting on what's called the 20 meter band and over going over short wave up to Hawaii and then up from Hawaii uh, that station there is going to hook us into the in internet via a system called echo link and that echo link will go over to the teacher's phone, Kathy Lamont, over at Antietam Elementary School. So the kids there, the fifth grade class, will be able to hear our audio going over the air for 1,600 miles, then through the internet for another 4,000 miles or so. And then they'll be able to speak back, come back over the internet to Hawaii, and then over the high frequency communications back to the ship. So today, they have a list of questions. We're out here on the expedition for the Eustace Earhart expedition, and hopefully we can answer all their questions. And we found that the fifth graders out there usually ask very good questions, so we're looking, I'm really looking forward to hearing what they have to, have to say. This is November Yankee Zero Victor, Maritime Mobile. Uh, good morning, Kathy. Can you copy me okay? Yeah, good. KM4TAY, hopefully we're being loud enough so that you can hear us. We hear you great. We just put you on the Bluetooth speaker so that things be making a difference. Go ahead. Okay, uh, KM4TAY, it's good to hear you. And uh, yes, please speak up on your end, and that'll be uh, much better for us over here to hear your questions. And um, I have here... Uh, a whole cadre of uh, people. Uh, you probably have already seen the picture of Sally Smith. She's our educator on board. And Sally is sitting to my left. And then we have Rod Bloxham. Uh, he's also an amateur radio operator, K0DAS. And uh, Brian McCoy is working a microphone, uh, K0YSQ. And I am uh, Tom, November Yankee Zero Victor, uh, NY0V Maritime Mobile out here on the edge of uh, almost nowhere uh, out in the middle of the Central Pacific. And the sun is up there now. Uh, your kids there at fifth grade are probably a little after 2 p.m. We're here, it's just early in the morning. We're a quarter, over a quarter of the way around the world from where you are, out on the uh, Eustace Earhart Discovery Expedition. So uh, back to you and see if we can start any questions. If your students have any questions for us on our end, and we'll be happy to try to field those questions. And uh, over to you. Okay, this is KM4TAY, and here's our first question. My name is Ernesto, and I was wondering how far are you from land? Over. Ernesto, and I was wondering how far are you from land? Over. How far are you from land? Okay, uh, well that's really a good question. Uh, actually, uh, the question can be a little further is inhabited land. Because from any inhabited land, anywhere there's other people, uh, we're over 600 miles away from any inhabitation. There are a few islands around, uh, but uh, we are, I can uh, really only say within 100 miles of uh, Howland Island, and you can look at a map and see Howland Island and Baker Island, and we're in that vicinity, but there really isn't much of anything out here but water. Uh, so 99.9% .9 of everything we see is just water. We have not seen any land, in fact, uh, since February 18th when we left Honolulu, Hawaii. So uh, we've been out here about three weeks now. And, uh, we've been out here about three weeks now. And uh, doing, uh, looks like conducting the expedition. And uh, all we see is water. Over to you. 
they're giving it actually to the students. So they're, right. they, each student will come up and ask their question instead of the teacher asking the question. Right. I like that. That's how it should be. There are questions. They just need to speak up. Um, I'm Ernesto again, and do you go fishing for food? Over. Okay, that was a little too quick for us here. Uh, we have multiple people listening on the headphones and we couldn't catch it. Uh, if the students could uh, speak a little slower and a little louder, uh, that would help us on our end. Over. Well, what did you say? Um, to say it slower um, and a little bit louder. You don't need to say your name again. Just say yours. Do you go fishing for food? Over. You go fishing for fish? Do you, I think that, do you fish for food? Oh. Okay, uh, that's a good question. That's a, a good question. Actually, uh, the ship has to be totally self-sufficient on food. But uh, early on, when we were cruising from Hawaii down here to our site, where we're uh, doing the expedition, uh, we did throw a line in the water and we did catch a wahoo. And that wahoo was over five foot, five foot long, over five foot long. And so uh, we cleaned that fish and uh, grilled them and had them for, for uh, dinner. And so we are well fed. I hope I'm not gaining any weight on this trip, in fact. <laughs> so uh, back to you, over. This is KM4 TAY. We have another question. Uh, my name is Luis. Have you seen any signs of life other than aquatic animals or boats? Over. Okay, well, that's an excellent question. That's an excellent question. Uh, the, as far as signs of life, of course there's uh, some aquatic life, not much, but uh, we actually see flying fish. Out, if we go out on the, what they call the forecastle or the forecastle deck, uh, when the ship is moving out here, you will see flying fish. And those fish will jump out of the water and they will fly sometimes like 150 feet. So that's very interesting. But mostly it's uh, birds. Uh, we'll see birds that are flying around here. Uh, in fact, yesterday morning I was uh, walking down the hallway of the ship and a, a small bird, a petrel, a petrel was actually had flown in, in through the door and was on the floor uh, in the hallway next to my, my room. So uh, we went ahead and put him in a shoebox and we have this baby petrel now. We're uh, kind of nursing back to health and there's also uh, aquatic birds that are, go out and fly, like they call them boobies. And uh, these birds will fly around the ship and they'll actually land on the water and they're around us. Uh, there's not a ton of them, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe a dozen birds flying around at any one time, but uh, you see them out in the distance. Other than that, there's not a whole bunch of other wildlife. Uh, like you say that even out here there's not much for the fish, the nutrients, so there's not even a lot of fish out where we are in this deep water out in the middle of the ocean. Over to you. That was all of our questions. I think we have answered all of them, so I think we might be good from here. I appreciate all of your efforts both between Echolink and switching back and forth to HF. Um, obviously not as great as it has been in the past, but uh, it worked out pretty well. Thank you very much. Over. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, Mrs. Lamont, we thank you for bringing your fifth grade students in on the expedition, and we're certainly happy uh, to ride along here and glad you could ride along with us uh, during the expedition. And I encourage you to continue to look at the Nauticos website at nauticos.com and follow the expedition exploits on the website. But it's been a pleasure. We enjoy talking with the students, and doing STEM is what we're here for. Uh, Rocco Collins supports the STEM education efforts and have supported this mission, and uh, we appreciate their support. And with their support, we're able to bring uh, this kind of STEM education uh, out to students like your students there in Antietam, Virginia. So uh, as we say out here, 73s, uh, best regards, and uh, have a good afternoon. It's just about 9 o'clock in the morning out here. So uh, take care and uh, good, exploring, uh, good exploring to you uh, as students. This is NY0V Maritime Mobile. We'll be uh, signing off.